car dealer fees, what they are, how to avoid them, and what one honest dealer advises that other dealers do. Yes, we actually have an interview on here today with an honest dealer. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Liz, there was a time not long ago that around $200 was the max amount you'd pay in fees almost anywhere. A lot has changed over the years, especially in the last three years of the pandemic, with dealers getting ultra greedy when it comes to fees. But you know something that's funny? To demonstrate how much power the lobbying efforts of organizations like NADA and many other automotive influencers have, Google has wiped clean any information that relates to the history of dealer fees. A search on Google reveals absolutely nothing. It's like somebody paid them to make the evidence disappear so nobody would know how bad dealers have become. I remember you saying that, so I checked Yahoo as well out of curiosity. That search also gave nothing. The auto industry has succeeded in getting Google to get rid of all historical evidence that there ever was a time that dealer fees were almost non-existent. They don't want you, the consumer, to know the truth, but there's one source of truth they can't scrub away. That's right. They couldn't scrub away the memory of honest car dealers who know firsthand what the history is because they were there and they've been around long enough to have seen what's happened and the good ones are not impressed. Kevin, you just interviewed one of the real gems of the auto industry. Yes, I did. Kali Thomas is a rare man of character that you find in a dealership these days. He's a sales manager from Crestmont Toyota, a dealership we just featured on this show just a few days ago. We'll run the interview in just a second, but first, let's talk about how much dealer fees have become as a percentage of the sales price. We estimate that fees have gotten so far out of hand that at a typical car dealer, you can expect to be charged as much as 8 to 10% of the car's price in fees. Some dealers insist that all their fees are required to be paid, but the truth is, the only required fees come from your local or state government. Besides fees, dealers often have add-ons that may or may not make sense depending on your situation. The choice should always be up to the car buyer. Let's take a look at that interview. Kali Thomas, the sales manager at Crestmont Toyota in New Jersey, joins me on the phone today. Welcome, Kali. Thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you for having me. Well, first, Kali, I want to say how impressed I was that you accommodated our viewer, Joe Lepore, with this testimonial video that he sent us, and you allowed him to record right at the dealership. That's pretty much unheard of, so I was really, really impressed. Thank you for that. You're welcome, sir. Absolutely. Okay, my first question goes to something that you may not have a specific answer to, but I have personally noticed that Google has erased all evidence of the history of dealer fees, but there certainly was a day when dealers didn't see the amount of fees that we're seeing charged on car deals today. Do you think it's possible that some of the influencing bodies in the automotive industry convinced Google to erase that evidence from the platform? Interestingly enough, it was just there two years ago. Any ideas what, what might have happened? Listen, <laughs> a lot of stuff do happen on the internet, right? Some, sometimes stuff pop up today and then you check it's gone again tomorrow. Listen, it's quite possible. That some of the, you get me, it's quite possible, but like some of the big company for as true cars or for as, you know what I'm saying, the bigger platform may have something to do with it. I don't want to get into the conspiracy theory part of it, but it's clear. It's clear that something is going on and, and um, somebody has something to do with it because it's no way it's there today and then it's gone tomorrow. Um, That's right. My thought exactly. I want to talk about dealer fees. It's reported that a typical dealer charges between 8 and 10% of the purchase price in dealer fees. Dealers tell us that they need the extra money to stay in business. So how do you respond to those dealers making those claims? Definitely do not. They definitely do not need the extra markup to stay in business. You're just clearly ripping off the customer. Because if you're already charging a good amount of money for the documentary fee, right? It's no reason to charge a customer to detail the car. It's no reason to charge a customer because you put the car in the internet, you're going to charge them five um, $1,500. So ever since the pandemic really started three years ago, the fee is getting really wild, which is it, it just out of control. You get me? But of course you have fees. There's always going to be fees no matter when you purchase something. But it got to be matter right. You get me? The, 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 the regular fees, but nothing crazy. But over the last three years, it's been really ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's like the pandemic uh, took the gloves off and dealers just went crazy with it. Exactly. As far as even over the MSRP, right? Yep. They charge the MSRP and then on top of it, they're charging the extra dealer fees. So it's like an overkill to the consumer, which I, I'm totally against. It's just not fair. Awesome. 
So yes, most of the dealerships out there they're charging these fees and they cannot explain the fees. It, it, it just it's no it's no it's no reason for it in the business. Absolutely. We we have people ask us all the time, you know, well, what about this type of fee or what about that type of fee? And our response to that is is just to say that dealers are really creative when it comes to making up names for new fake fees and and, and they just do that. Exactly. With no with no with no remorse, with no restriction whatsoever. It's it, it just plain ridiculous. It's just plain ridiculous at this point. Right. But we something way different than Crestmont Toyota. Absolutely. Well, Collie, your dealership, Crestmont Toyota of New Jersey, recently was featured on a video that we aired on our channel. It was titled Best Car Buyer Testimo Video Testimonial Ever Received by Our Channel. It was submitted by Joe Lepore. Joe reports that he paid MSRP and sales tax. First of all, is this pretty typical treatment of your dealership towards car buyers? Yes, that's something that we've been trying to, you know what I mean? That's something we've been trying to do for the last 14 years, basically. They're just trying to be very transparent. Um, therefore, it will bring us more customers in the future, keep everybody happy. It's just not always about the money. You get me? Of course, we make a living. We need the money to take care of the family and stuff. But why rip somebody off? You're never going to see that customer again. How long are we going to stay in business? So we just came up with with this idea. If we treat everybody the way we would like to be treated, if we go to a different store and buy a TV, or if we're buying furniture for our, for our house, and we want to be treated that way, get a good deal. That's the same way we want the customer to be treated when they come into our store. Kali, that is such a breath of fresh air to hear you say that. That's absolutely amazing. So if your dealership is uh, able to do all of this and get by, I'm kind of curious how, how you're doing financially despite not charging thousands of dollars in markups and ridiculous fees. Financially, we're doing very well. I, I have no complaints. Every one of my salesmen make good money. Um, everybody can get, um, take care of their family. We have no complaint. Everybody making, I don't want to put the numbers out there, but, but for instance, everybody making well over 60,000, put it that way. Awesome. So even a new salesperson, so it just, it works for us. We, and the returns is there, the customer keep on coming, our service department is doing good also because they know we're the good guys. So the, 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 our overturn is very well. Our, you get me? So we have a lot of repeat businesses. Yes, that's so, beautiful. So based on your response, so would you recommend that other dealers in our listening audience stop charging these high fees immediately? No, so I cannot tell anyone what to do, but I really recommend they will cut the fees down, absolutely. Just, 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 just to pull the mirrors back a little bit, rethink it a little bit, and come again for the consumer. Absolutely. I think it will be a very positive way for the car business. Absolutely. Where everybody still can make money and everybody still be happy. Both the dealership and the customers. Yes. So if we tweak it a little bit, I think everything will be fine. But who am I to make that decision, right? Well, I only can give you my best opinion. So, But yes, I think they should definitely do something to protect the customer with the extra fees. Absolutely. You know, Kali, interestingly enough, we have viewers who tell us that the phrase good dealer is an oxymoron, like it doesn't actually exist. But I know better because I've met some outstanding people in the car business, and you, Kali, are an example of that. And I got to tell you, I truly feel honored and blessed to have met you, if even over the phone. We come from kindred spirits, and our actions allow us to sleep well at night, unlike some others. Why do you think so many people or other dealerships have such a hard time seeing this business through the lens that you do? I put it like this. It's just from, from, from day one, right? It's just, I don't know if it's this, um, because it's based on commission, right? So they set up the salesperson based on commission base, right? So all of, um, the salesmen feel like they have to go extra hard just to make this income, right, per week or, or per month. And they give us a number that we have to hit. So the salesman basically... They want to protect their income, right? So they're basically going to fight for that profit margin. So instead of them discounting the car, the salesman do not want to discount the car because the dealership is basing their pay on that aspect of it. Um, but what I did is when I came into business, I realized, listen, if I give up some of my commission, this will make the customer happy, and that way I will get more return business. Therefore, I can build my portfolio. You, you get where I'm coming from? So what I did Absolutely. Is I tend not to go for all the money up front. I look at the bigger picture. I said, this is my career. If I don't rip this customer off today, they will be back. If I rip this customer off, they will never be back. So what? I, I really took back and look at it. I said, what's the point of my doing this? It works nothing if I really rip a customer off. I'm not going to go forward. I'm not going to make more money because I'm going to lose that customer. They're going to come again. So I'm not going to get that customer in three years. So what I did is treat these customers as my family, put the money aside. I know the money will come. And, 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 and guess what? I stayed with the company for, for over five years, and that's when I started seeing everything picking up. 
So right. dealership can definitely try a different approach for us definitely ripping the customer off. We definitely can try something different. Awesome. Well, Collie, we've been advertising a uh, hassle-free new car buying platform that we've been promoting for some time. You had the opportunity to read through some of the documents that I sent you, and I'm just kind of curious if you wouldn't mind sharing your initial impression and your thoughts for other dealers who might be thinking that doing business this way could possibly be good for them too. Absolutely. So I definitely read through everything. It's all about transparency. You get me? So you give the customer that confidence. Also, it makes it easier for the dealership because when the customer goes into the dealership, they're not uptight. You get me? They're not. They're not thinking, "Oh God, is this dealership going to rip me off?" Yeah. With the service that you sent me, right, and the portfolio I looked through, it makes all that stuff goes away. So it makes the customer less nervous. It makes the salesman can do his job a little bit easier. So I feel like it's good for both the consumer and the dealership. Far far as everybody's on an even paying field, as far as this dealership is not ripping me off, and the customer know they're getting a good deal. Far as the service from the beginning of reaching out to the dealership to the end of them picking up the car all the way down to the service area. I think this um, your system will definitely work to keep everybody transparent and then give the customer that confidence to go into the dealership. Absolutely. That's awesome. And you know, Kali, I can tell you from personal experience, that's exactly what happens. Because the managers that I worked for in the uh, de dealerships that I was in would tell me that my customers were the easiest person people in the world to work with because they trusted me and they would literally show up at the dealership with a portfolio full of all of their information and they would you know how hard it is for some salesmen to get information out of their customers well my customers would absolutely vomit information on me and my car managers could never figure that out i was like that's what people do when they trust you it, it makes business easy thank you it makes people exactly makes everything go smooth and that's the way it should be. So the problem the car dealership are having right now, the customer go there, they do not trust them because of the same fees. They know the dealership have these fees, but they don't know when the fees are gonna come out. So they're very nervous when they get onto the showroom. With this portfolio you guys have, the customers have all the weapons when they get there to give them the confidence, they know what's gonna happen. So they're not gonna be nervous when the fees is coming. They already plan for the fees. So once the fees come with your portfolio, right, the customer's already gone. Because they already know, you already gave them that heads up. Right. Um, with this system, absolutely. And another topic too, with your system, right? Trading's it give customers the trading, the confidence in the trading, what they're gonna get, because you already know what to expect for us trading the vehicle and everything. And, and that's and that's a big part of my business where customers get nervous; they're not sure what they're gonna get for the previous car. Yeah. Well, I'm really glad you mentioned the trading because it is a big sticking point that we hear frequently from our viewers around the country, and it's it's a big problem area of car deals right now. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, Collie, I appreciate you taking time on a weekend like this to chat with me. Any closing thoughts that you want to add about high dealer fees or anything else here in closing? Listen, Kevin, I just want to tell you, keep on doing what you're doing. You're doing it from your heart, just like when I started in the business. All right. So I see your vision and I respect your vision. And I just want to tell the consumer that's to listen to Kevin. Um, listen to his guideline. He's doing something. He's definitely pulling the car down, the covers off these dealerships and really putting his best foot forward for the customers. All right. So I just want to tell my customers, visit us here at Crestmont Toyota. We're going to keep on leading you in the right way. Just keep on watching Kevin. You're going to keep on leading the right way. And hopefully I can help you guys in the future with whatever you guys need, okay? And Kevin, thank you so much for the opportunity of getting my word out there, what I've been trying to do my whole career, okay? So I just want to tell you, I appreciate you and I appreciate the platform and hopefully all the people out there in the world can appreciate you one day, definitely, all right? Your well, Kali, likewise, we appreciate you very much. So thanks, and all I right, look forward to working with you in the future. Definitely, I'm looking to meet you in the future, differently from the phone, all right? So thank you so much. Okay, take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye. I couldn't be more impressed with Collie Thomas, Liz. He is the real deal, and he took time out of his weekend to call in and do that interview with me. I think there are a number of key takeaways that we can learn from Collie. First, did you notice how on fire Collie is for transparency and honesty? He enjoys his work in the car business, but he's clearly annoyed by bad dealers. When I think of greedy dealers and how adamant they are about their fake fees, they're only on fire for taking as much money as possible from their customers. That's why they drop you like you're hot when you refuse to pay their fees. Second, did you notice how Kali described taking a smaller commission as a young salesman because he knew the customers will be back in three years if they were treated fairly? That's an amazing amount of personal integrity and trust right there, and good business acumen as well. Greedy dealers don't really believe that they fooled you. That's why they want to hurry you up through your transaction and get it done before your head stops spinning. <laughs> 
I hope our viewers enjoyed hearing these things straight from the horse's mouth that good dealers are out there and no, you shouldn't expect to pay thousands of dollars in fake fees ever, period. One last thing. We said we'd tell people how to avoid paying that 8 to 10% in fees on their car deals. Well, that's not too hard for car buyers, Kevin. Just don't be emotionally stuck on the vehicle you're looking at that you'd give your business to the dealer asking for outrageous amounts in dealer fees. Just don't do it. Inventory has gone up enough already that literally every person who saw this video today should know that the minute the surprise fees come out, they should get up and walk out. Dealers seeing your footsteps headed to the door will be scrambling to get rid of those fees. That's right. They need your business. Mm -hmm. They'll chase you down and offer to get rid of those fees very quickly. That's where the market is right now. Also, a note to other good dealers out there. You heard what Collie Thomas said about our hassle-free car buying platform. He loves it and says it will make doing business very pleasant and easy for your customers. In our next upcoming shows, we will highlight the benefits of the hassle-free car buying process Collie Thomas was clearly impressed with. To our car buyers, if you liked what Collie had to say about it and he helped you inspire you to get signed up, you can find the link in the description box below or visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com, to find it. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications and give this video a like if you appreciate what we do here for you. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guide team and our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. If you're new here, we invite you to join our huge YouTube family. If you've just recently joined us as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.